Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26 of the Lico Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this part. Um, so the contest is in about an hour. Hopefully we finish this one quickly enough. I'm not going to do a bonus question because the contest is the bonus question that I'm going to do today. But uh, let's take a look without further ado. I am a little bit tired though, so maybe I should have took it, uh, taken a break. I just came back from running 7.5 miles uh, and seven and a half miles and then I just kind of should have taken a nap. Uh, but anyway, let's get straight to this problem. Uh, actually, let me get a water real quick. I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, it's very hot here in New York. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm just trying to get my... Uh, but, ooh. Uh, oops. Trying to get my bottled water. Um, I need some hydration. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. It's very hot here in uh, Saturday, New York. But uh, yeah, all right, let's take a look. An attendance of 552, student attendance record two. The attendance record for student can represent by a string where A is absent, late is L, P is present. Any students eligible for attendance of what if they meet both the following criteria? Absent strictly fewer than two days total, uh, never late three times in a row. Okay, we turn the number of possible attendants. I mean, I think this is a pretty, uh, okay, N is big, you have to keep that in mind, and this is the input anyway. I mean, 10 to the fifth, but, you know, that just means you cannot do N square stuff, but it mostly it should be okay. But really, um, you know, uh, and then there's the second thing is mod, right? Uh, you have to keep track of mod, so let's just do the mod song. The thing that I always do a mod song is that uh, I always forget mod otherwise. So I go something like, it's not a real song, it's just me going, mod, 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 but I type this out. Uh, otherwise I forget, right? Okay, so then now, uh, but the way that I see it is just brute force, right? In in the same way that we've been kind of talking about all week. Um, kind of, not really, I know I lie a little bit. There is a dynamic programming, but or memorization, if you will, but we can kind of generate from that. So let's start with, um, yeah. Let's start with, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to name it. Let's just say count, right? And then now, what do we care about? Well, one is the number of days left. So that maybe we have days uh, days here. And you count up, count down. I think for this one, doesn't matter. Uh, maybe the number of absences, right? So A for absences. Absences? Is that, that's not how you say it, right? Oh, is that how you spell it? Absences? Is it C or S? I don't even know. Okay. Uh, late three times in a row. So late in a row, maybe, right? Just to kind of make it clear. And of course, the days is number of days um, we already calculated. You could actually go, if it counts down, you could also say days number, number of days left. Should, I don't think this one matters that much. Uh, and then absences is going to be um, the number of total absences. Man, I feel like I don't know how to spell. And lateness or whatever is just going to be, it is what it sounds like, right? How many consecutive lateness are there? And you can kind of count out the, the, um, the, Number of possible states. This is going to be n number of states. Absences is going to be at least or at most zero or one. Yeah, zero or one, right? Zero or one. I was going to say maybe two, but I don't think that's how it's read. And then here it's going to be uh, zero, one, two, two, right? So that means that you know there's two here, three here, so that's six. So that's six times n, and n is ten to the fifth, so that's um, six times 10 to the fifth number of states. So we can do uh, memorization as long as we do stuff that's all of one each, right? Because obviously if we do an O of N inside, that's gonna be too much. But uh, yeah, so okay. So assuming that we keep, there, there are a couple of ways you can think about this depending on how you would like to write your dynamic programming. And for me, I don't really, doesn't really matter in general. But what I mean by that is that you can, sometimes it depends on how you wanna do it, but you can actually check these things here or you can, uh, in, in the, maybe you could call it the precondition, 
or you could check it before calling into it so that it, it so that um, the so you can say either we check it to make sure everything in here is in the, the invariant or you can say that the invariant is that everything is ratted as part of the input. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. And for me, I'm just going to just assume that everything is already ratted. So if days is equal to n, then we have one way of counting it. Otherwise, we're going to do a brute force, right? So t total, is, total is equal to zero. And, and then now we want to say, okay, uh, do a p day, right? So a present day. Right, so then now that's just days plus one. Absences d doesn't change, right? This feels so hard to spell. I don't know. It just looks so awkward. Is this the right way to spell it? Maybe that's why. No. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just sometimes words just look weird, right? Uh, and of course, in a row it's gonna be zero. So I'm just gonna change this to late, just because you know, uh, <laughs> just so much more. Uh, and then do uh, a day, right? So then total we do da, 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 days plus one, absence is plus one, and then zero again because it's not a late day. But of course we have to make sure that absence is uh, was it is less than or plus one is less than two, right? So of course you can subtract one from both sides. So then you can maybe just do uh, you know right. And then do a uh, L day, right? And of course, we have to be, again, if late plus one is uh, less than three, which again, we minus one on both sides, so we can just write, you know, late is less than two. Total, we add count days plus one. Absences doesn't change. And then now this is just late plus one. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, there's mod stuff that we have to think about, but... But that's the general structure, right? So then now we can say we start with zero or uh, day zero, no absences and no lateness in the row. And we are, you know, like the hard part of it done, though I think 10,000. I didn't see the 10,000. They'll probably time out. But uh, yeah, I like to just kind of play around with small numbers to see if they work. Usually they don't give you a big number, but I guess today is a little bit weird. I mean, they'll time limit exceed it. Yeah, so it looks good for small enough numbers. Uh, of course, during a contest, you're, going, you're not given this, but maybe you can work out manually. In any case, uh, yeah. So then now, there are two things. Right? One is mod. Uh, keeping in mind that it's actually... You have, to, you have to figure out what your language is and how to kind of constrain the space. But in Python, uh, just putting it here is good enough. The reason is because... This is going to return a number smaller than mod. This is going to return a number smaller than mod. This is going to return a number smaller than mod. So this means that total is going to be at most three times mod minus three, say. And so this is not a big number no matter what. It's not always true, and it leads to awkward uh, situations if you have multiplication. But yeah. <clears throat> and it's just a very small optimization. You could put a mod after every addition and still fine. And I would say in other languages, um, in fact, three times mod in C++ overflows int, right? Um, so you have to be careful about a lot of these stuff, but you, you're responsible for it, so you should do it. But okay, so that's a small thing uh, now that we took account of mod. But of course, the other thing is the branching, so we have to kind of memorize, right? So the thing with memorization is, of course, if you're given the same input, you have the same output. So that allows you to cache the thing, so then let's do it. So now we have has cache. The way that I usually do it on these things, and there's three dimension, right? Times, uh, was it lateness? So it's going to be three uh, times two, right? Uh, yeah. And yeah, and the way that I like to write it in these teaching examples is just have, have it so that they're separated so you don't have to worry about anything. So if it's cache, days, apps, uh, still have to figure out how to type it correctly. Uh, then we return the cache because if we have it, then we should return it. Otherwise, after we do all the calculations, we, we say, okay, we have the cache. We have the cache. Cache makes the money go. What? Anyway, uh,
and that's pretty much it. Uh, okay, now we can bring back the big number, just to kind of, you know, test. Uh, it's not even the biggest number, so, eh, that should be okay. Let's just give it YOLO submit. Huh, I say it should be okay, but watch it time limits, because apparently it has time limited in the past before. Uh, I mean, if we have to do, um, convert this to bottoms up, it's fine. We'll, we'll do it. Oh, I guess we don't have to do any more, but... Huh, I guess in the last video, I did the same thing, and then it times out, and then... And then I have to rewrite it as bottoms up. And even this is too small or too slow. So then I had to do the space optimization. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. This is a cheating optimization, actually. Huh. I don't know. But I'm glad that today we don't need to do it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to explain it. If you want to, that, that explanation, you could probably find that video and just do it that way. But uh, yeah. Um, this is going to be, like I said, this is the complexity, right? O of n time, O of n space, and that's all I have for this one. Uh, I have about another half an hour to the contest, so I'm just going to try to uh, hydrate myself and get some snacks. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. Have a good Memorial Day if you are, you know, in, in the U.S. Uh, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see you all later and take care. Bye-bye.